Okay, after we uh, uh, check the print head cable inside the cartridge, we are not close with each other, and the print head cable is protected by the tape. Now also, the belt tape was cut. The cartridge can be moved from left to right freely without problem, and the table can move from left to right freely without any block, and. Also, the table have nothing stay on the surface of the table, such as ink or any liquid or any tools, all are removed out. And also, the carriage will not get blocked or scratched by the table. Everything's okay, and then we can start to do a test print without load ink. So. First, the machine can start printing process, just the motion, without load ink. Because if we load ink on the machine and you have some wrong operation cause to cause the problem or to cause print head, so the print head stay with ink, we are easy to get the clock. So for safety, we just do test print without ink. So before we do test print, we need to we need to connect the UV line with cable and also load the water and do some connection on the UV control box. Okay, then we start to install the UV control box. So first, we connect the UV2, V2, means UV2 is for the line for uh, varnish so it's UV2 connect with UV2 and here is an angle so we connect the angle with pin push inside and fasten the screw to lock it and then the first one is UV1 mark here so we connect the UV1 cable and once we find the angle position and we push inside and we fasten it and here is the ES single cable so we find our single cable and also find out the, the anchor position push inside and we connect it and then is the power cable we connect the power cable with machine and here I have named the AC 220 voltage if you are used with 110 voltage you need to use the converter and then you connect the tuber is in and out connect with the connector without loosen or leak ink and uh, leak water. So after we connect it like this, and also be sure all the tuber will not bend or without close. After that, we just uh, open the cover. We open the cover and we load the mineral water. Then we fill the mineral water to the UV control box. We fill about two thirds of the total volume. Okay, then we power on the UV control box and the then we check if the water have circulation, mass circulation bike, the top water mass circulation back to tank, and also the temperature controller on the front in the front must be without alarm or over thirty degree, and also all the tubers are not leaking in leaking water, and also the UV lamp on the left and the right all the in tube are not any water leaking out. So this is the method that we take, open the cover, close the cover, loosen a little bit. So this is the procedure to uh, install the UV control box and the power on and the power off. So then we can start to power on the machine if everything is ready. So we power on the UV control box 
and then we go to the back side of the machine. Then we start to power on the machine. We find out the general power switch. And when we power on the machine, the table move to front a little bit, then start to move to backward. And also carriage, we need to check if the emergency button is open close. We need to open the emergency button. Then in the stop. And then we at the power the machine, we connect the USB cable with the machine <coughs> with the machine. We can push front at the control panel. And we connect the USB cable with the printer. And another side we connect with the computer. We connect another side with the computer. Then if the machine power succeeds, when we go to the screen, we can show we can say we can see it's show ready. So we go to the screen, we can say it's show ready. That means the printer is online, but the printer is power on succeed. And here is show online means the machine is connected with the computer and also the 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 software is is open already. So that means machine power on succeed. Okay, after we power the machine succeed and the screen show ready, then we can then we can connect USB cable with the computer. And we open the focus combo the UV control system to do a test print without the ink. We double click the icon on the top. So this is the interface of the software. So we can go to if you the machine connected, so on the bottom here it will show it will show connected. On the left Button here we show connected. So we can first check the motion for each. So we press left to check if the carriage moves to left. So carriage is moving to left. It means working where. Then we press right. The catch move to right. And then we check place X home. The carriage back to X home and then stop automatically. Then we check the feet. We place feet. The table goes front. And we go place back. The table goes backwards. So it's working well. Then we check up down. So first we must push. We take we uh, test the up. We press up, so the carriage moves to up, and then we check down. Now it's very deep. It's very important. You must check the check the gap between the carriage and the flat bed by your eyes to be sure it will not scratch the print head surface. Because the limit sensor will not working for transparent material or not surface, not surface not flat material, like the acrylic, like the glass, is not working for this kind of transparent material. So the up working wear, down working wear, and then we need to do a test print. Before we do the test print, we need to press left to move the carriage out of home position. Then we press up down to be sure to adjust the gap between the print head and surface and table is three to two millimeter.
after we check the gap, then we can start to test print. And this procedure to adjust the gap between the print head and the material, you need to do this procedure every time you print for safety to, to protect the print head. After that, we just place X home again to make the catch go to home position. Then we go to the screen again, so software, we go to file, and we go to find a PRN file that go with the USB flash delivery. We find any file, <clears throat> for example, this picture, this picture is ripped already, ripped by the software already. So it means it color, so we open it and load to the software. And from the screen, we can see it means add column. That means the file is ripped by CMYK, LCLM, white, and varnish. So we need to open the white ink to print. So if we close the white ink, that means the file is only six color. And if we start to print, you will get some, you will get the error message. Let's try, see, it's your error. Image color mismatch. So if that, we need to open the white ink. And then we can close the message. And then we need to set, we click the file, and we choose the white ink printing method. For example, we want to print the white ink on the bottom, the color ink on the top of the white ink. So we just choose white ink bottom. Then <clears throat> we set the margin for X and Y. If we X margin, if we put zero, this print on the top, top point. The Y margin, if you click on Y margin, if you click on, so the table will go to the set position automatically to start print. But if you click off, that means the, the print head will start to print on the current position. So, for example, we put X20, Y20 for test, and then we go to the file and right click and choose print to check if the motion is, is working well. So we just uh, click print, and we can see the table go to the back side and the carriage start to print. And we can see the UV line is working. And the motion is working. The flap it move to front and the carriage just start printing. So for, for this we can we, we can know the UV lamp and UV lamp and motion is okay. Then we're going to test if the left one left UV lamp is working. So we're gonna just click stop to cancel the job. So after we cancel the job, the carriage back to home position, so it's normal. Then we save file, we choose, go to white ink option. We choose only varnish to check if the varnish line is working. So we start print again. We click print. And we can see the right side UV lamp is working. So for this procedure, we can know the printing process is working. The motion is okay, just uh, without load ink. So we can stop. We go to software and we press stop. Cancel the job. When we cancel the job, the catch back to home position and the screen will show ready again. Then we can start to do the next step to load ink and do another check and calibration. Thank you.